right here is the ad server. Let me turn it right side up here. Uh, we use an ad server by Lenovo. It's actually a full-blown computer system. It has Windows XP in it. It has a 160 gig hard drive, a gig of RAM. Um, it has a video output, VGA. It has four USB ports in the back. It has one LAN connection for internet, for direct connection. Uh, the power supply input, which is DC, so this can run also in a vehicle. Uh, mobile applications like trains, uh, planes, well, not quite planes, not yet anyway. But at least it'll run in taxi cabs and trolley cars and buses and trains, oh my. And it has a sound output. Now, if we flip it around, if we ever needed more, there's a little trap door on here. If we open this little trap door up, you'll see that it has two more USB ports and the sound in and microphone in. Now, we might use those some other time, but right now we don't use all that stuff. All we use right now is the video input, I mean video output for the display, and that's a monitor that's behind me, and that normally goes like that, and you've seen them before. Regular monitor input, you know, it screws in, that kind of thing. Um, and we use a Cat5 connection, like that. That's how the internet connects. Or you can use a wireless adapter and plug it into the USB port, and it becomes wireless at that point. Now, I do um, uh, send the wireless adapter already installed and configured for you because you notice there's no CD-ROM drive. There's no keyboard or mouse. So it already comes pre-programmed and ready to go. So literally all you have to do is plug in the Internet or connect to an open wireless Internet, and it will work directly without any kind of programming. Now, if you're going to connect to a uh, closed or secure connection wireless, you're going to need to have a keyboard and mouse to type in the security code at least one time then once it's saved you don't need the keyboard and mouse anymore let me tell you what else it comes with it comes with the adapter to sit it on a table which goes like this if I can do this for you sits on a table like that alright like a little desktop and it comes with a wall bracket. Let me move the tape off of it. Put it in the back. This goes against the wall or behind a monitor if you want. And then the unit itself plugs into it this like this. Slides in here like that. Uh, locks into place. A little better when it's hanging on the wall. Locks into place. And then, of course, there's the locking screw at the bottom. And then, voila, it's hanging on the wall with a nice neat bracket and all you have to do is literally connect your uh, let me see how this goes in here connect your wireless adapter and it can hang in the wall to look just like that that's all you need that's all is required and that's your ad server sitting behind the monitor or away from view so no one sees this thing and it is your brains behind controlling all of the ads from remote control over the internet so let me disconnect all this good stuff now what I'm showing you right here though this is really not a Wi-Fi adapter but it looks like one it's a broadband adapter that I use from clear the 4G wireless so this unit really can go into a mobile application okay so this has internet wherever it goes let me disconnect all this stuff if I know what I'm doing Okay. It has like a little lip right here to keep it locked in place. To keep idiots out like me. Alright, so there's the frame now. Now we have the unit. Now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hook it back up. Because we'll use this as an example. First off, we plug in the display and screw it in, but I'm not going to screw it in right now. You plug in the power adapter right there. They only go in one place. We plug in the network connection and turn on our monitor. 
and hit this little button right here which looks like a little light bar and it should turn on and it does now remember I've already pre-programmed this so it's ready to go and while we're waiting for that to boot up and start it should start all by itself as a matter of fact and let me stop right there and see if there's any questions so far all right no questions all right so let me continue so now do you know what the hardware is I want to make sure you understand what I'm saying this little black box which is the computer is the ad server okay up there of course is the display right now you're looking at a 20 inch monitor okay this is an actual kit that comes with the business in the block box deal so if you ordered one of these for five hundred dollars which is the monitor and the machine 150 footer monitor 350 for the machine or it's cheaper if you buy your own monitor really um, so just 350 then you can literally um, find a location install it and start selling ads the very next day okay this machine will hold a thousand digital ads no one ever puts that many in because by the time they reach about 50 to 100 they're buying another machine getting a whole another location and multiplying their ad revenue okay um, what else uh, the ads are rotating every 15 seconds and if you notice on the screen you'll see this is just connected to our demo uh, area but you'll see every 15 seconds that a, a new ad changes or that didn't even sound right let me say this a new ad is displayed and let me zoom in a little bit and show you what's on the screen alright yeah I think I'm looking at the wrong way I'm backwards looking at my monitor okay here we go in the left hand corner you'll see in really tiny writing this is just really for you but it's not intrusive you'll see it shows the version of the software the next line we'll see when the next time is going to update in seconds and in, and right now it's at an hour but I'm going to be changing the updates down to uh, three hours because it doesn't make sense to update every hour it doesn't make sense at all um, the next line I mean the next uh, piece of information is how many ads are on the server there's an A inside and then there's a number the next one is the server it's actually connected to which in this case is server 7 out of 10 servers just like a switchboard so these things log in uh, to get their uh, commands um, from the website that you control all the ads with the next thing is the actual file name that's being displayed at the moment okay now this helps you let me back up a little bit this helps you because let's say you have an ad that's not being displayed properly it's just a black screen at least you can tell what ad that is so you can go back and see that you might have done something wrong uh, maybe it's the wrong kind of JPEG or maybe the JPEG extension is uppercase when it should be lowercase um, maybe it's a GIF file it's not a JPEG at all 